All right, so after that reading, um, you may have been surprised as we were reading, there was a lot of information in there, um, but hopefully you got out of that reading that we as humans are actually related to whales. And not only are we related to whales, um, but we are related to both whales and humans, this little creature right here, um, that's kind of a rat-like creature. And the way that that process happens we, uh, is called evolution. So that is how we, even though we don't look anything like this rat, um, or we don't look anything like a whale, end up being related over millions and millions of years is this process um, called evolution, which is a process by which species adapt and change. And that is the process that we're gonna continue to study so that we can figure out where that mystery fossil should go in our museum. So, now that you've finished up the reading um, and we've talked about that key word evolution, um, what I want you to do is if you were able to go on to the Amplify platform and read the, um, complete the reading yourself, so I want you to go back and we're really gonna focus on a couple of these annotations. Um, these might be annotations that are similar to something that you have done in class before and you might not have a, a class with you right now, but what I do want you to go back and do is I want you to think about what is something that you could share with somebody who you are at home with right now. Go and choose an interesting vocabulary word. What is maybe a connection that you made? Um, what's a comment or what's a question you have? Maybe you even want to pause the video right now and look up the answer to your question online. Um, Go ahead and pause the video, go back to that reading and think about what are some things that you might want to share. Once you're done, we'll come back and continue throughout this lesson. We're gonna introduce the really cool simulation that we're gonna be using throughout this unit. Okay, so hopefully you got a chance to share something from that article with someone around you. Uh, we don't have a whole class with us, um, or if you do have a couple other people around you that are your age, great, share some of those ideas with them. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to be opening up the simulation that we're gonna be using throughout this entire unit. So again, if you do have access to Amplify at home, I'm gonna show you how to click through. You're gonna log in using the way that you ordinarily would log in. Um, and then we're gonna walk through some of the steps of the video together. So if you do have um, access, I want you to pause the video right now and open up the evolutionary history simula simulation. If you need help with that, I'm gonna actually log into the simulation on my account right now. So we'll close out of that. So once you log in and get into the evolutionary history, we're just gonna click on chapter one. We are in lesson 1.3. Right now we are in activity four, which is introducing the simulation. So you're gonna click on that. Your screen, once you click on activity four, will look a little bit different than mine, but you wanna go ahead and um, open up, you should see something that looks exactly like this. And we're not gonna spend a ton of time in here today, but we're just going to start to introduce you to some of the pieces that you might see in, um, that we're gonna be using, I should say, throughout this unit. So once you've gotten logged in, if you're logged in, what I want you to do is, you're gonna be clicking on this free explore right here, and it's gonna open up a map for you. Once you have that map open, one of the best ways for you to learn in a simulation is just to kind of start to play around with some of the features. So in this video, I'm going to be walking through each of these questions and answering them and showing you how to do each of these things. So you're more than welcome to watch me do it. Um, but I would suggest if you are able to get into that simulation at home, pause the video and walk through these questions because if you have the video at home, you're really gonna be able to learn a lot more by following with these questions and pushing yourself to figure out some of the different pieces in that simulation. So go ahead and pause if you are logged in at home and if you're not, 
Uh, we're going to continue with that simulation. And I'm going to help walk you through it so that you are not missing a thing. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this free explore. And what we're going to end up seeing is we've got this whole giant map of the world. Um, and these maps, these little orange dots, are going to represent different dig sites. So if you click on them, you're going to be able to see some of the different organisms um, that were found there. But remember that in some of these places, some of the organisms that are there are not going to be organisms that are alive today, but they're going to be representing fossils that have been found in those locations. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and head and select one dig site right here. Um, and I'm going to walk you through just a couple things so that you can kind of see some cool features that we're going to be playing with in this simulation. So as I click on this, uh, this organism that I have clicked on, it's hiding in a little bit here, is called the Tiktaalik. And in order to take a closer look at that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here where it says add to my collection. So now what you may notice is that it has popped up over here and that is kind of representing if we as paleontologists would have gone out into the field and grabbed that fossil and brought it back to our lab to study it. Um, so the next thing you can hit is obviously if we bring it back to our lab, we can click study and it's gonna tell us a little bit of information um, about that fossil. And in fact, there's three tabs here that kind of got hidden by this tip, which I will go ahead and close. Um, but the three tabs, one's going to give you a little bit of information, like if you were at an exhibit in a museum. One's going to show you what that Tiktaalik actually looked like, um, kind of a crazy looking uh, creature right there. And then the last one is going to break down for you some of the structural pieces of that organism. And just as a reminder, we talked about this in our last video, but the reason this soccer ball is here is to help you kind of have an idea of how big that Tiktaalik actually was in real life. So this picture, you might not get a sense, you might think it's kind of a small little tiny fish, but actually in, um, in actuality, it was pretty big. If you thought about, you could probably line up eight more soccer balls along here and that would be the total length or maybe not even long enough to be the entire length of that fossil. So the last thing that I'm going to show you that we're going to get into a little bit later is this tree view. So this tree view is going to show us where exactly each of these fossils are going to be sorted um, in our tree of life, which is going to be something we look into a little more depth in our next lesson. So that is pretty much all for um, lesson 1.3. I will look forward to coming back with you and working through lesson 1.4. We're going to take a little bit um, closer look at the simulation. We're going to go back to the reading to study one of the diagrams that we didn't look at too much today. Um, so feel free if you are finishing up this video and you do have access to that simulation, maybe you want to open it up, open up this free explore, get that map going so that you can see maybe some fun things that we're going to learn about throughout the rest of this unit. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing you in a little bit when we start uh, lesson 1.4.